how you doing? Welcome to Bentley's Backwoods Bushcrafting. This is Richard. And no, this isn't another ODF out there flapping uh, rant or rave. I just uh, thought I would uh, show you guys something that I told myself that I would not, I would not ever show anybody, and I would keep it to myself. But uh, I figure, what the heck? I'm gonna show it to you anyway. So let's go check it out. Alrighty, this is what I wanted to show you. So you're saying, oh look, it's so special, it's a bookshelf, yay. Well, I don't know if you guys have seen my other videos. If not, and if you feel interested in checking it out, uh, you can check a video uh, out on these books right here. And I have uh, uh, what I think is an interesting video about those books so if you get a chance to rummage through my other stuff go check that out then uh, then do so but uh, now that's not really what I want to show you uh, got a bunch of let's see if I can get up there I got a bunch of jackets and stuff just thrown up there um, it's a junk shelf it really really is just a bunch of bunch of junk really uh, there's a gag gift from my son. He said he wants a Kevlar, so I went to the Dollar Tree and bought him that uh, that right there, and I'm going to give that to him uh, for uh, some gift here soon. Uh, it's a groundhog hat that I made from a from a roadkill. Uh, that little sign right there it says Insane Asylum. I used to have hanging out in my dojo uh, when I when I had my martial art uh, school. Uh, but that's one of the few things I kept. Uh, let's see here what else we got. We got uh, got that little chipmunk. And I did a video on that one. It's a little hide that I that I uh, found with roadkill. And I tanned it. And So my favorite book, Green Eggs and Ham there. And so a bunch of stuff there. There's a, there's a fire kit right there inside that. Just a bunch of stuff. There, that piece of fur right there. That's uh, some roadkill coyote that I found. The only thing that was uh, valuable to me at the time that wasn't all janked up was the actual head. So I got that. Uh, let's see, bunch of books. What we got down here? Uh, my Dremel. Uh, this is all the names to both of the uh, drawings that I've giveaway drawings that I've had uh, I'm gonna do you know handful of drawings and once I do I'm gonna take all of the people that's uh, done all my giveaways and I'm gonna do a special drawing with just those names but uh, I'm keeping those some magazines uh, I buy Backwoodsman and uh, uh, American Frontierman. Uh, that's basically the only two that I really get on a regular basis. But anyway, that's not really what I'm here to show you, to be totally honest. Uh, and I'm three minutes into this video here on this one. But anyway, what I really wanted to show you is, and by the way, that's my wife's uh, uh, door for her closet. And uh, so I'm going to show you this and then I'll talk about it in a few minutes. I'll go back to my son's room where, the, where my uh, family crest is at and we'll discuss it. But I want to show you this real quick. So let me get over there. This is what I said I would never show anybody. So I removed these two books. Stick my hand back here. And open that bad boy up. Voila. Alrighty, I've gone handheld, so it may uh, may be jerky a little bit, but uh, this is actually my side of the closet that I've hidden. And what I did was I just took a. Uh, pretty inexpensive Walmart uh, bookcase 
and I screwed it to the door and that's really all I did I figured that would be the best best way to to work that but basically it's just screwed to the door and here let me close it up here real quick again for a second and uh, go back to that so and uh, the reason that I got the close up here is because my wife wouldn't let me take the trim down or anything so it kind of hides hides part of the the trim and stuff and then my army blanket kind of hides the trim there and uh, of course it's not really hidden too well there but uh, we plan on uh, tearing down all this nasty wallpapery crap and painting so I figured I would fix it then but it's my it's my secret uh, little prepper stash is what it is and uh, I mean see if I can get back in here real quick and there you can see the door handle uh, I just uh, cut a a hole in the the backing which is just you know cardboard and uh, put the door handle so I can just or the yeah door knob there and just turn that and it unlocks the door or opens the door I should say and then yeah so I just keep that there to keep it covered up and then it just opens up just like a normal door yeah. and I keep a bunch of my prepper stuff in here I have my uh, crossbow my large ruck uh, I got a I think that's five gallons I'm not a hundred percent sure full of macaroni and cheese this rice in there there's beans down there I got my uh, one of my Faraday cages right there and a lot of this stuff you guys have seen from other videos that I've done but uh, you know I got all kinds of stuff back there fishing poles um, stuff and uh, I got a bunch of water up here and We've used some of it. We're having water issues at our house right now, so I had to dip into the stash a little bit, at least this one. And uh, all kinds of stuff back here, really. Uh, these two totes right here is uh, full of food. Uh, it's a lot of stuff that I just didn't want to keep in my storage shed and other parts of the house. Uh, this is a little more secure as far as... Uh, keeping it away from rodents and stuff like that plus I, it's it's a nice way for me to to conceal a lot of this stuff so anyway uh, this is uh, this is where I keep uh, oh this is the shirt back here let me grab this real quick here one of the very few things that I still have left from my army days let's see if I can hang this up real quick and show it to you uh, this was the unit and as you can see, it's really worn. This is the unit that I was with, uh, 1st Battalion, 39th Field Artillery, Airborne. I jumped out of planes and blew stuff up for a living. So anyway, I'm extremely proud of this, to be totally honest. Um, uh, it's considerably small on me now. There's no way I could wear it. Uh, you know, at best, this was a maybe a medium. I don't remember. It could have even been a small. I was a lot smaller guy back then. But uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, this is uh, just a stash that I keep for some of my some of my gear. Some of the stuff that you know, if I needed, I have it with me. Uh, you know, at all times. You know, fishing gear kits. I got a all kinds of gun cleaning kit back there in a, in a bag. I, you know, all my stuff here. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out and show everybody. I like it. My wife wasn't uh, horribly enthused that I did it, but <laughs> she let me anyway. She's such a wonderful person. So anyway, uh, this is my uh, my secret uh, prepper stash, I guess you could call it. So, and really, when you come in and you look if you're not looking too hard I guess you know it just uh, looks like a little bookcase you know in this room and maybe somebody would uh, mess around with somebody broke in or whatever 
maybe they would mess around with this stuff here and go through it. I don't know. Maybe they would. Maybe they wouldn't. But uh, I seriously doubt whether they would uh, bother with the books. And uh, I'm sure that, uh, you know, my stuff back there would be somewhat secure. Unless, of course, they watch my videos, then they know it's there. So, And that was the reason I wasn't going to show anybody, was because you never know, you know. But I figure, what the heck. So anyway, here's something else I want to show you guys. Well, I don't know if you've seen the moccasin video I made, but these are the moccasins. There's one right there, and there's one right there that I made. Uh, one of my favorite characters, the Grinch. But uh, this monkey right here. Uh, my grandmother, on my dad's side, Helen, gave me this at my birth. So, this monkey here is as old as I am. And I know it's a little older because, you know, anyway. Uh, but yeah, this monkey here is like 50 years old, at least. And my grandmother, Helen... Uh, gave me this at my birth so I've had this with me my entire life nothing that I have uh, with me right now has been with me as long as this now the eyes of course used to be black and they're no longer black uh, there was a mouth that went right here but uh, yeah it's it's not there anymore either but uh, I still have that monkey, and to be totally honest, I hope to hand it down to one of my kids, and if not one of my kids, maybe even one of my grandkids. You know, right now I have two grandkids, Seth and Spencer, and most of you guys know Seth. Most of you have seen Seth, and uh, hopefully soon Spencer Spencer will start uh, joining in, but he's he's still an infant, so... I'll introduce you to him, but he's not going to be able to go outside and do a bunch of stuff yet. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that, and I decided that uh, I would break the silence and uh, show you my Insane Asylum Prepper Stash. Thank you very much for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcrafting. Thanks for watching, subscribing, commenting, and sharing, and enjoy the outdoors.